Greetings and thank you so much for joining with us throughout this week. It's been our honor and joy to be able to spend a few moments each day in the Word and in prayer. This week we've been talking about strengthening our inner man and we've been pointing to various practices or disciplines that will help build strength in our spirit. And today I want to point to another discipline which is receiving spiritually through other people. God has placed us in a body. That means we don't live in isolation, we don't live somewhere in an island. We are part of a spiritual body. And as part of the spiritual body, we minister to one another. We give into each other's lives. Every joint supplies, every part supplies. And we give into each other's lives. And so we must learn to receive spiritually through other people. Now we see examples of this in the New Testament. I'll just make mention of one or two. The Apostle Paul, as he writes to the Romans in Romans chapter 1 and verse 11, he says, I desire to come to you that I might impart some spiritual gift to you. So he's saying, I want to come to you and I want to impart something spiritually. I want to give something spiritually, put something in your spirit, spiritually. So God can use other people to impart strength, to impart spiritual nourishment into our spirits so that we can be strengthened. Others can refresh us. Others can renew us spiritually. Others can impart to us spiritually. And so what we must learn to do is to receive through other people whom God has placed in His church, in His body. We can listen to them preaching the Word, we can read their books. And, you know, these days we have so many resources available. Now, of course, we've got to be careful what we listen to and who we listen to. We just can't be uh, just open and take everything that comes our way. We've got to be careful, we have to be discerning. You know, listening to wrong things is like taking in bad food, it's going to hurt you. Uh, so we don't want to eat bad food. Make sure you listen to the right kind of teaching, right kind of ministry. But God has placed people in the church, in the body, for us to receive. And that's another way through which strength is imparted to our inner man. And as we hear the word and receive the word, either through listening or reading and so on and so forth, our inner man is being strengthened and God is giving to us. So do that. Receive through other people. Let them pour into your spirit and be strengthened in your inner man. Let's pray. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that each of us will be strengthened with might by your spirit in the inner man. That we will go from strength to strength spiritually so that God in all things will grow up to be like Jesus that will be empowered in the spirit to live victorious overcoming lives and to be able to bless others minister to others and give into other people's lives in Jesus name Amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.